Hey guys, it's Pulse with Pioneer, and today's video is covering the Nexus 900 LFO. So, just what is it? Well, it's a MIDI signal oscillator, low frequency oscillator that sends signal over MIDI. What is this useful for? Well, for one, LFOs work in patterns. They uh, can go sine wave, they can go ascending, descending patterns. Uh, let's take a look. I'm just going to open the MIDI monitor, and you can see what happens when I turn on my... LFO, you can see it ascending and descending. This is pattern one. Pattern two is, uh, uh, oops, uh, pattern two here uh, is just straight ascending, and you can see it counts from 0 to 127 and starts again. Pattern three is the reverse, and you can see these patterns in the top of the display when you change them. Pattern four is an exponential gain. Pattern five is an exponential decrease. Uh, pattern six is full on, full off. And I'm going to use this one as an example of uh, the timings. So right now, that was at 4.1. Now I'm down to 1.1 1, 1 at a 128 BPM cycle. So you can see that it's changing every 467 milliseconds. It's going from off to on. So how is this helpful? Well, effects. Let's take a look at those. But first, let's go through pattern 7, which is random. So there you are. Lots of fun. Okay, so I'm going to turn the LFO off for a second. I'm going to clear off my cache. And let's go into Ableton because this is a good application for uh, for an LFO use uh, because you have the ability to do plug-in um, plug effects. So uh, let's first take a look at the configuration for those of you who uh, are unfamiliar with this. Uh, open up MIDI and of course you've got your control turned on uh, with the detects to 900. Uh, turn track off and turn a remote on. That's a default setting. Go to audio and set up your config. I just set mine for all stereo, never using the mono inputs on uh, on a mixer. Uh, output, you're going to set all the outputs as well. And if those don't show up, it's because you don't have your 900 Nexus set up as your in and out. And speaking of ins and outs, uh, if you open up the setting utility for the 900, you will see the input and the output. Uh, for mine, I've got all the outputs set for channel fader, and so that's post fader. And all my inputs, uh, I've got channel 2 is where my source is going to be, so that's going to be the digital input, and I'm going to return it back to the mixer on channel 3. So, you're following with me, let's close the preferences and now configure our effects. So, uh, an effect from channel 3, 4, and that's going to go to external output 5, 6. So it's coming in on channel 2 of the mixer, going out on channel 3 of the mixer. What does that mean? Well, I've got a CD loaded. Let's uh, put that on crossfader A, and my channel 3 is going to be on crossfader B, so when I come over to the other side, you're not going to hear anything. Well, that's because you have to hit this little button here. Boop. All of a sudden, you've got your input coming in and your output going out. So, just quickly uh, take that audio out so you can hear me while I'm doing this. Uh, let's get an effect in there now. So, uh, something like erosion. Uh, let's take noisy. Well it's not doing any good right now it's on and you can hear the the effect of it being turned on but uh, so how do we take this uh, to our advantage with the LFO well let's grab something for example the frequency uh, hit command M and press the LFO button and you can see there's 118 which is the same control that I had going back and forth here controller 118 and uh, when I turn off the MIDI command M again now you can see it zipping around back and forth. So let me change the timing on that to 2, 1 and now it's going to the beat. So this can be used for any 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 effect, any value. If I don't want to use that one anymore I want to set it to the amount. Hitting command M. Well now it's confused because it's got two assigned but we'll just delete one of those and when I get out of that, you can see the amount now is what's ping-ponging to the filter of the LFO. Changing the pattern. Changing the timing. And that was uh, me hitting my finger on the, uh, the X pad that's causing it to jump around a little bit. But you can uh, change the patterns up. And that's the uh, exponentials. And that's the full on, full off. And random. 
And of course this is all to the beat. And that uh, is picked up through the audio on the Nexus 900 or if you're using Rekordbox Link, it can even pull that out of the, uh, the beat grid from your Rekordbox tracks. So uh, that's it. Any effect you can uh, throw at the computer through a VST, a plug-in of any kind, as long as it's MIDI controllable, that LFO is your friend and you can have some fun with that pattern. I'm Pulse for Pioneer. If you have any other questions, hit us up on the forums at pioneerdj.com.